torque. Let's do a torque problem. Let's see, let's say uh, this is an 18 volt Black and Decker battery. So, I'll do an example here. I've got a There we go. There's my drill. And the voltage in is 18 volts. And the uh, current is 200 milliamps, which is 200 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. So I'm going to convert that to amps because I'm going to want to get the input power. Let's see, that's, uh, there's uh, 1 amp for every 1,000 milliamps. So this is the amps. Milliamps cancel. So this is 0 0.200 amps. So 18 volts, 0.2 amps. A. What's the input power? Input power is voltage times current, which is 18 volts, 0 0.2 amps, gives you 3.6 joules per coulomb times coulombs per second gives you joules per second. That's watts. Hmm. Let's see. Now, output. Let's say let's say I've got um, an angular velocity of Hundred and twenty revs per minute. Hundred and twenty revolutions or RPM. Uh, first off, what is that in radians per second? Because I want to know. Let's say the efficiency. Um, let's say it's got sixty percent efficiency, or I'll just use a fraction this time. Let's say the efficiency is zero point six. I want to know what's the torque. And I want it in uh, foot pounds. Well, that'll be tricky. So the first thing we'll have to do is we'll have to get that this uh, angular velocity in radians per second. So that's uh, two pi radians per revolution. That'll cancel. Good. There's one minute for every sixty seconds. That goes there. This is going to be like, I don't know, like 13. Let's see, 120 times 2 times pi divided by 60, 12.6. So we've got 12.6 radians per second. Now we should figure out what the output power is. Uh, then we can figure out what the torque is. So here's what we need. Now the efficiency is output power over input power. So my working equation, I can get it by multiplying both sides by the input power. And I wind up with the input power is equal to, let's see, and I have to divide both sides by the efficiency, right? So I'll get input power, well, one output power. Sorry, output power is equal to the efficiency times the input power. Lost my head. We want to solve for the output power, multiply both sides by the input power. We get this equation. The efficiency is 0 0.6. The uh, input power is 3.6 watts. And so we're going to get, uh, let's see, 2.16, I think. So 2.16 watts. That's the output power. Now, I, I need foot pounds for my torque to figure out what it is because I said so. I want to get a conversion in there. So let's change this to foot pounds per second. And I know that there are 550 foot pounds per second for every 746 watts. And the watts will cancel. And I'll wind up with 
about one and a half, I think. 1.6. Yeah, 1.59. So we get 1.59 foot pounds per second. Is that what we wanted? No. Our unknown is the torque. We're trying to figure out what that is. So here's how we do it. The output power is the torque times the angular velocity. It's the rotational power. So that's torque times omega. Now I solved the angular velocity. I, you know, it was 120 revs per minute. And it's 12.6 rads per second. So I'll solve this for the torque. The torque is equal to the output power over the angular velocity, which is 1.59 foot pounds per second divided by the angular velocity, which is 12.6 radians per second. And we can get rid of the radians. They, they don't count. That's just to keep track of the fact that we've got an angle. The seconds will cancel. And so we're going to have foot pounds, which is a good thing. And that gives us I get 0 0.126 foot-pounds of torque on this drill. So now we should talk about uh, fluid power.